Sitting there. Coming to you from the Southern Pride Gaming Expo 2019, and we're about to show you what it's all about. The Southern Pride Gaming Expo is an annual event in Atlanta, Georgia, where vendors with some really neat stuff and game owners from across the country converge and set up hundreds of arcade, pinball, and console machines which you can play without any quarters. Indie developers have a section to show off their latest games, and you can experience virtual reality. You'll find tabletop and role-playing games, tournaments, a cosplay contest, programs and guest speakers, a film festival and more. They even have wrestling and live music if you're into that sort of thing. There is so much going on at this expo it will make your head spin. There is something here for everyone. All of this is included in the price of admission. Enough talk, time to walk. We're going to have some fun and show you around the expo. Sitting there. interesting controller in that this in so many ways kind of foreshadowed what was going to come someday in the same way that the ColecoVision and Intellivision and stuff in that this started to move towards that you know uh, single purpose controller you know where you have both the analog function a digital function and the button on it that you can kind of see this as a precursor to what would eventually become like the Nintendo pad, and then later, you know, would kind of fully morph into the, the modern game pads that we know know today. Yeah. So we're um, we're looking here at a Turbo Graphics 16. Looks like somebody's playing Bonk. This is Empire. We are at the um, Southern Pride Gaming Exposition. We are in the indie room and we're looking at a fantastic, uh, what appears to be a, a retro styled platformer. And um, we're here with the developers. All right. Um, and your name? Uh, Paige. Paige. And I'm Jordan. Jordan, it's nice to meet you both. What can you tell me about your game and what platforms will it be available on? Um, as many as possible, but uh, for now, PC for sure will release on Steam. Um, we only have a demo right now, but it's uh, sort of like a half action platformer, half RPG sitcom kind of thing. Um, it's about like a family owned pizzeria and uh, you play as the boy that mops the floors. And uh, so yeah, your family members kind of just give you missions and just have fun little family moments with you and stuff. And yeah. 
That looks fantastic. What are you developing it in? Uh, Unity. Yeah, let's take a look. Alright. Oh, yeah, so our construction screen is kind of like, uh, <laughs> like formatted like a menu in a way. Like a um, So that's menu. like why there's like sandwiches and pizzas. Oh, that, that's clever. <laughs> Thank you. And then, um, uh, upstairs right now, um, you're talking to your family and stuff. Um, in the full game, they give you missions as well, too, the side missions and things, um, for you to clean up stuff and move objects around downstairs. But also, it's just like a nice, relaxing place where we like for players to come in between doing intense boss battles and things like that. I love the I love the pixel art, and unlike what you see in a lot of people, a lot of games where people do these retro-inspired games, the graphics are very large, and that's that's kind of noteworthy because most of them try and emulate the old Nintendo-sized sprites. Yeah. And and those are, are are nice and big. Yeah, yeah. No, we we really liked kind of making our objects bold and stuff, and um, I feel like yeah, it makes it pop out and feel kind of unique. With, um, David Corgan. David, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Um, so I understand you're having an event coming up in um, in Nashville later this year. Yeah, so in Nashville, uh, November 8th through 10th, at the uh, Millennium Maxwell House Hotel, we're going to be doing our fourth year, the Grand Ole Game Room Expo. So it's arcade, pinball, uh, a lot of retro uh, consoles, tournaments. Oh well, that's that sounds like a fantastic amount of fun, and um, we've we've got a website right here that people can get in touch and find information on your event. Yeah, go to grandolexpo.com and you can get all the info there. See if you can.
work with Wasteland Collectibles. Um, we make bead spreads, uh, contact us. You pick your favorite movie, video game, whatever you want. We'll come up with a size, a design, and we'll get you your perfect wall. So there you have it, our take on the Southern Fried Gaming Expo 2019. What we've shown you here does not do the expo justice. It is something you have to experience for yourself to fully appreciate. Let us know if you were there or if you plan to go next year in the comments below. Until next time, this is Deadline for Cities In. Oh. <laughs>